Hi, it's Robin. I've got this pamphlet here called Programming Pitfall Harry by David Crane. It's from around 1984 by Activision. And what it is is just a little booklet, just a couple pages, depending on how you count. Single page, even. And it's got a program listing from David Crane. Now, I'm going to be making a, a full video about this pamphlet for the main channel, but part of it I need to actually type in this program listing and I'm going to do that more or less real time here today. So if that isn't your cup of tea then I encourage you not to watch this video. <laughs> I'm just going to be sitting here and typing this in and saying whatever comes to mind as I go through it. Otherwise over on the main channel is going to be the full video about the more interesting aspects of this. Today this video is just going to be typing this in and I will run it so you can see what it looks like, and that's it. So I'm going to be using my iPad as both a timer, here we go, and as a stand. So I probably won't edit this video much, but at the end we'll see how long it took me to type in. Probably a long time. I'm guessing like an hour or something. I'll put a close-up of it up in the corner while I'm typing if it helps. I'm also going to be sitting down, unlike usual. Normally I record standing up, so sitting down, if I look or sound different, maybe that's why. I actually have had some requests to do some type-in listings, so <laughs> that's, what, that's what this is. All right, got my 64 here, new, and away we go. 20 V equals 53248, and I think I will type in the comments, even though they're not strictly necessary. 30 rem read inter... Interrupt. Whoop. Handler into. And I'm going to be trying to type it in exactly as he did. Rem cassette. <laughs> Not off to a good start here. Rem cassette buffer. 40A equals 832. This is the first time I've just typed in code. I used to do this all the time in the 80s from magazines and I actually had this pamphlet back then and lost it for years and finally found a copy on eBay. It was taken, oh, uh, I searched and searched forever. Go to 50. That's funny that you put a space in there, but it is valid basic to the go to command can optionally have a space split into two words. Okay, so that's the first section that apparently poked the machine language. Next section RAM load pitfall Harry's running. And then 10 pictures from data statements. I make a mistake, shout ram into ram at address 8192, 134s equals 8192 to 8192 plus 383. So this is gonna be the sprite graphics. Read a, poke s comma a. So I've got apparently 384 <laughs> Uh, data statements, graphic data statements coming up. Whew, I wonder how long this is going to take me. Next, S. All right, next section, 200, REM. Set up sprite zero for Harry. 210 REM colors. Those dots? REM colors, dot, dot, dot. Poke V plus 37, oop. Jumping between keyboards here. Poke V plus 38 comma nine. And poke V plus 39 comma five. Oh, I hate when that's exactly 40 characters in a line. That does that double space. Line 230, REM multi-color mode. 
it's killing me not putting the the U in that, but my American viewers will appreciate this. Rem sprite enable 260 poke V plus 21. That's to turn on the sprites, right? Rem vertical position to a poke V plus one. Come 104 to 90 rem sprite pointer. I better be careful not to make any errors. I, I should spend more time making sure I don't type it in wrong, so I'll have to scan the whole program later. Double size X and Y. 20 poke V plus 23. Yeah, so it expands the sprites. Double size rem. Let Harry pass behind characters. Oh, another one of those 40 character lines. 340 poke V plus 27 comma 1. All right, and I'm just in case I have a crash or lose power or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I do have my Super Snapshot cartridge plugged in. 400 rem. Print something for Harry to rem run on. David Crane really likes his ellipses. Print character string 147 semicolon colon. It's funny that whatever printer he used, the semicolon's way taller than the colon. Lacking descenders. Rem clear screen. 430 for I equals 1 to 12. Print. Oops. Print next I. Interesting, he used the variable name. Actually, I did that too. You don't actually have to do that because next automatically figures out what the last variable used in a for next loop was. So again, for i equals one to five, print pitfall, semicolon colon, Next, I. 500 rem. Start interrupt running. 510 poke. 788. Ooh, dangerous. He's uh, changing the interrupt vector, but without stopping uh, the interrupts first. So that could actually crash if you're unlucky if um, the interrupt happens between those two pokes being executed, which are far from atomic on uh, Commodore Basic. V plus 18. I don't know what that register is. 600 rem. Key hit makes Harry stand still. Okay. X10, get a string if a string equals uh, null, then 610. So it's just waiting for a key for i equals 1 to 200, poke 832, 48. Next i, what is that? Spoken, I guess that modifies the code. 630, go to 610. 700 rem stop ah enter double r stop interrupt minus that's a really big hyphen there this restores 710 rem system to normal 720 poke 788 comma 49 poke 789 or it also could crash your computer if you're unlucky and then stop okay i'm going to save that again 
Whoops. Good. Okay, now we're into the really boring part. Rem, assembly language IRQ, line 10. So this is actual machine language, these data statements. Zero twenty four two oh six sixty four three sixteen five one sixty nine. I think I was faster at this when I was a kid. One forty one sixty four three one seventy three sixty four three forty one line nine thirty. So yeah, this is the machine code for the interrupt routine. That uh, will make Pitfall Harry run, apparently. I, d I do remember what this is like. Uh, I haven't seen it in forever. But I still remember it makes Pitfall Harry run across the screen. 950, 960, 24, 105, 128, 141, 248, 7. Oh wait, that's the same. Oh man, I typed in the wrong 950 data. So you can just type the line over again. 64, 3, 74, 74, 74. Make sure I got that right. 50, 208, 173, 64, 3, 74, okay, 24, 105, 128, 141, 248, 7. Okay, and line 970, data 76, 49, 234, 999. Line 1000, rem, pitfall, Harry's graphics. Oh, and this is the worst part here. Okay, save, pitfall 3. Okay, so this is the, whoops, line 1005 data, 0, 1, 0, 060, 0, 0, 52, 0, 0, 10, data 20, 0, 0, 16, 0, 0, 40, 0. He's going up by fives now. Data 040, 64, 0, 170, 128, 2, 170, 120. Data 01, 40, 0, 0, 60, 0, 0. Oh, crap. <laughs> so I typed in the wrong line number there, that erased line 120. So there, I'll make sure that's 1020 and 120. I'm going to have to type in again, just a RAM into RAM at address 8192. 1025 data, 42, 128, 340, 128, 15, 160, 192. Line, I'm going to be more careful about those line numbers. 0, 0, 240, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So he's always doing eight numbers per line. 1035 data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And line 1040 is identical. So I can just type the line number in again, 1045 data, 060, 00, 52, 00, 20, 1050, data 00, 16, 00, 40, 00, 1055, data 40, 00, 168, 00, 168, 64, 60 or 1060 data 0 170 128 0 166 00 60 
1065 data 0, 0, 40, 0, 0, 42, 0, 0. Line 10, 70, data 170, 128, 0, 162, 128, 2, 128, 128. That's a long one. 10, oh, 1075. Yeah, 20, 192, 15, 0, 240, 12, 0, 1080, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Data zero sixty zero zero fifty two zero zero twenty ten ninety data zero zero sixteen zero zero forty zero zero ten ninety five data forty zero zero forty zero Zero forty zero. Okay, and that is a good moment to save pitfall four. I just like doing the directory and make sure that it took oh only up to seven blocks so far. Okay, should be line eleven hundred. Data zero forty one zero zero forty one zero zero sixty eleven oh five data zero zero forty zero zero forty two zero zero eleven ten data Two one twenty eight zero thirty four one twenty eight zero one sixty one twenty eight. Just we had so much patience back then, eh? And of course, you have to draw all the graphics ahead of time on graph paper, and then work out these data statements when you're making your own game. Calculate them zero one sixty one twenty eight zero one three one zero zero one twenty eight. It's hard to keep track of where I am. 1120 data. It's just like a wall of numbers. 192, 0, 192, 0, 0, 48, 0, 0, 1125 data 060, 0, 0, 52, 0, 0, 20, 1130. I hope if I made a mistake, if I made a mistake, you didn't shout loud enough. Zero zero sixteen zero zero forty zero zero. Seems really unlikely I'm going to do this without making any mistakes, and then what a pain it's going to be to track it down. Forty zero zero forty zero eleven forty zero forty zero zero forty one zero zero. Oops. 41, just two zeros there, 1145 at the end, um, data 0, 0, 60, 0, 0, 40, 0, 0. I guess smart people use like a ruler or something, eh? But that's not going to help me with, oh, like trying to figure out where to put the magazine. It was like on my lap, on the table be beside the computer, but I'm like flat, but then straining to see it. Okay, 1150 data. 4200, 10, 10. I remember these things uh, that secretaries had that was kind of like a board, but also had this kind of sliding ruler thing. That'd be pretty cool to have one of those. If you guys convince me to do more type ins, then I will try and find a vintage one of those. 
uh, stand things to use. 1160. Because, yeah, it's just so hard to... <laughs> if I ever look at the screen to see if I made a mistake, then I lose my place in the listing. 1165, 060. Oh, I keep doing that. 60, 60, 0, 0, 52, 0, 0, 20, 11, 70, day of 0, 0, 16, 0. I can go fast if I don't look at the screen, but then I don't know if I made any mistakes. 40, 0, 0, 168, 0, 0, 68, 64. Data, 0, 170, 64, 0, 166, 0, 40, 1185 1195-030. A home stretch. 240-001-I-2-0-0-0. Ah! Okay, I heard ya. 234-1205 data. 0, 60, 0, 0, 52, 0, 0, 20, 12, 10, data 0, 0, 16, 0, 0, 40, 0, 0. Yeah, back in the day, sometimes this was like the only way some of us could even get software was to get a magazine or a book from the library or whatever and sit there and type it in. Uh, the first time I got to bring a pet computer home, this is what we did. My mom even helped type in these games from David Ull's, uh like 101 basic games or whatever. 1215 data, 40, 0, 0, 40, 64, 0, 42, 128, 1220. And like it was a terrible game at the end, like no graphics and it's like a text only game. Have these dreams of how awesome it would be and yeah i mean some of the games were good but they often did not uh they weren't a good payoff for the amount of effort and for what your imagination dreamed it would be oh well, that's my uh the pipe some for my boiler heating up it's a cold windy night here in canada so those are my pipes warming up to warm up the basement here. 0, 0, 40, 0, 1235. Data 0, 40, 0, 0, 44, 0, 0, 47. 1240. Data 0, 0, 48, 0, 0, 60, 0, 0. Whew. Save. Pitfall 5. Okay, maybe you you folks all know that I made a bunch of mistakes. I'm going to list it one more time. Now, how long did that take? Oh, fell asleep. Hey, 24 minutes. That's not that bad. All right, here we go. I don't know if it'll work. Run. Oh, out of data error in 140. So I am missing some data statements. All right, time to be debug here. So we'll look at the machine language first, because it's all, it could be 
could be anywhere here. Basically, I'm missing at least one byte. 0, 24, 206, 64, 3, 16, 5, 169, 39, 141, 64, 3, 173, 64, 3, 41, 1, 208, 3, 238, 65, 3, 173, 65, 3, 10, 141, 0, 208, 42, 141, 16. This is why they made these uh, checksum programs later that wedged into the computer and uh, then they would put checksum bytes every so often. Uh, they use different systems, but 64, 3, 74, 74, 74, 24, uh, and it made typing these programs a little, actually quite a bit less painful because 76, 49, 234, 999. Um, yeah, because you'd usually know right when you typed in the line if there was an error. 060, 00, 52, 00, 20, 00, 16, 0, 0, 40, 0, 0, 40, 64, 0, 170, 128, 2, 170, 0, 1, 40, 0, 0, 60, 0, 0, data, okay, 42, 128, 3, 40, 128, 15, 160, 192, 0, 0, 2, 40, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then those are good. That's eight zeros each. Oh, no! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> There, I forgot. So it was my shortcut. You guys are probably all screaming that there were actually nine bytes there. Why would he do that? David, 0, 060, 0, 0, 0, 0, 20. Okay, so I will continue from 1050. Um, Pitfall six. All right. I run that again. And we'll see if it works this time. Is that my only mistake? Was yes. <laughs> pitfall. 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 <laughs> Actually, this is, this is worse than I remember. I was sure there was like a little jungle scene and, um, yeah, I mean, I don't see any code for it. I'm sure this is what there was. So probably I went through and, uh, yeah, I, I probably used like Petsky graphics to make an actual pitfall scene that, Piffle Harry could run through. And, uh, yeah, that's it. If you press spacebar, oh, he just stands still. Oh, just for a moment. But that's it. There's no, uh, there's no joystick controls or anything. Yeah, he probably pauses for like four seconds. Oh, no, no, he just pauses for whatever, yeah, counts to 200 and keeps poking a bite in there. That must stop him from running. Okay, and the one other cool, if you press stop, this is kind of magic here. This is the crazy bit. 
That blew me away when I was a kid. That he just keeps running. So if we even type list, just wait for him to come around again. There. <laughs> okay, and he's running under the basic program. So that amazed me. Okay, so yeah, I'll talk about that in the full episode. That's it. We got it typed in. Thanks for sticking with me. Let me know. Do you want me to never do something like this again? Or do you want me to do other programs like this? All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. We'll talk to you next time.